Don't know if you noticed the clouds this evening. Really quite interesting. And so every night here on Fox 9 News at 9, we take a closer look at the weather, try to learn something. So we asked Scott Dorval, or at least I did, to kind of explain some of this to us. Really, the clouds were just gorgeous in the sunlight, and I, I, but I don't really understand how it all works. Yeah, you, did you notice the clouds? It was some of them had flat bottoms, some of them had yes, flat, tops flat tops as well. We'll talk about why that occurs. Usually you'll see the flat bottoms. This is a picture I took this evening. Uh, I was driving down a Eustick Road road from Napa heading towards Meridian and you'll see here notice the cloud bottoms are flat this is pretty typical when you see these puffy clouds and that was the case there were several of them lined right up there bumpy on the top here but very flat on the bottom this has a specific name right here and we could tell during the day in the morning before these clouds even form exactly how high pretty much exactly how high they're going to form that is what's called the lifting condensation level this was the scenario in the atmosphere today it was 47 degrees at about seven o'clock tonight it was five degrees at the base of that cloud right here. So what happens during the day is the sun is warming. The sun does not warm the air directly. It's minuscule how it warms the air directly. It will warm the ground, solid objects like us. That's what we feel the warming or the ground. The ground will then radiate heat and energy upwards. As that air rises, it cools. And so at 2,858 feet at the airport up to a, a base level of the cloud at 10,000 feet, that's where the cloud then it, uh, condenses and forms the cloud. And it's a direct line. This is the lifting condensation level, and generally you'll have puffy clouds above it. Michelle, you saw some flat clouds at the top. Those are little thunderstorms trying to form, reaching the top layer of the atmosphere where it's warmer aloft always, and so the clouds will then go up and then just lose their buoyancy and just flatten right out aloft. So interesting, definitely interesting look at the cloud cover today, and the bases of those clouds, if the air is dry, it raises, it goes all the way up to 5,000 feet. That air has to rise really far to get that moisture to condense. When you have humid air in the wintertime, the cloud bases are lower, and the cloud bases will be around 3,000 feet. Come summertime, when we get some of those thunderstorms, Michelle, we're talking cloud bases that are 10, 15,000 feet high thunderstorm bases, and that's why it's so far for that rain to fall, it doesn't quite make it to the ground, and so we have uh, a dry lightning that occurs and a lot of gusty winds. If you've got interesting questions or uh, photos, weather at fox9now.com. Michelle? I can tell you this, Scott. I would have done a lot better in science had you been teaching me. <laughs> well, True. thank you. You're welcome. Well, some big news.